The dramatic story of a handshake that did not happen. At the UN today, the President of the United States and the new President of Iran amid predictions of a breakthrough with America's adversary. But ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, is to tell us what happened. John. Well, Diane, it was a missed opportunity. President Obama was hoping for an historic handshake, the first between the presidents of the United States and Iran in over three decades. It was the Iranians who said no. White House officials say the Iranians turned down the handshake with President Obama, saying it would be, quote, too complicated back in Iran, where hardline clerics still talk about the U.S. as the great Satan. But handshake or not, there are signs an historic change may be underway. Iran's new president, Hassan Rouhani, has come to New York vowing moderation, friendship with the West, and promising never to build nuclear weapons. And President Obama today opened the door to warmer ties. The roadblocks may prove to be too great, but Iran's genuine commitment to go down a different path will be good for the region and the world. For decades, Iran has been one of America's most feared adversaries. Since our embassy there was stormed in 1979, American diplomats held hostage for 444 days, an incident Americans were reminded of recently in the movie Argo. We need to go now. And just last year, war with Iran seemed almost inevitable as Israel came to the U.N. warning Iran was on the verge of going nuclear. And Iran's then president denied the Holocaust and vowed to wipe Israel off the face of the map. In contrast, Iran's new president today called his country a harbinger of peace and security. And in that speech, which just wrapped up, President Rouhani said that he is open to talks with the U.S. to, quote, manage the differences between the two countries. And while there was no handshake, Diane, there will be an historic meeting later this week between Secretary Kerry and the Iranians. It's the first time a Secretary of State has sat down for substantive meetings with the Iranians uh, since the hostage crisis. So still inching forward. Inching forward. And nobody walked out when the President of Iran got up to speak this time. All right. Jonathan Carr reporting in.